guys, I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to swatch a couple plates that I have here from Bundle Monster. And if you watched my Bundle Monster haul from a couple weeks ago, I did show you these two plates then and told you that I would swatch them, but then I went on vacation and just got backed up a little bit video-wise. So, um, it, it's been a couple weeks, but here I am and I'm finally doing it. They are both from the Polynesia Collection. And I got them both on clearance. They were like a dollar or something or a dollar ninety nine. I think they were a dollar each. They were crazy cheap. So if they're still available, I will link them down below. But I don't know if they were trying to sell out for good or not. So um but I will link it down in the in the description box, um, whatever I find out. And the two plates that I have are Polynesia BMXL one fifteen. I love this right here with a cute little bird in it. Um, I'm not sure what the Kia Aura, I'm not sure what that means, but, and then you've got some really cute, like, um, you know, like, I don't know, Polynesian, like, tribal sort of designs, cute little swirls up here, beautiful leaves, I love the sea turtles, um, some more Hawaiian words, just really, really nice images, I love this one right here, and then this one is Polynesia BMXL119. Again, you got some beautiful, beautiful images up here. I love this one. It's like it's like a whole little scene. It's like the water and then the big boat, the sailboat. Then you've got the wind going and the sun behind it. Very cute. And this is kind of like an abstract leaf sort of pattern. And then you got the little, the mean little faces in there. Um, I can't think of what the little the little tiki guys. I can't think of what they're called, but that's what that reminds me of. Um, some cool abstract images here. And then this one's a bunch of swordfish, so very, very cool. So let me go ahead and grab out everything that I'm going to need and take off the blue film, and I'll meet you guys back to do some swatches. So for swatching purposes, I'm going to be using Bundle Monster Creative Arts Polish New York Black from Set 1. And this is just their version of stamping polish, basically. I've also got a handful of popsticks over here that I'm going to be stamping on, and these are all just... Um, popsticks that have some gel polish on them, and I was playing around with some different pigments just to see what they look like, so that's what's on there in case you're wondering. I'm going to be using my new Bundle Monster Jumbo Stamper that I got in, um, I won this in the competition. I did make a video of me trying it out for the first time, if you guys want to check that out, and there's a piece of fuzz on it that I cannot get off. There we go. And I'm using my Bundle Monster Scraper, and I'm starting out with Bundle Monster Plate Polynesia BMXL 115. And as you guys saw in the beginning of the video, all of their plates come with a hard plastic backing that is dark blue with their name written in white. So I'm just going to swatch a few random images from this plate, so let's get started here. I think I'm going to start with this little leaf pattern down here at the bottom. See how it looks. Picks up beautifully. Beautiful image. That's super cute. I love that. Gorgeous for fall. Let's grab these cute little turtles. Gotta get the turtles. Picked up very nicely, as you can see there. Cute little turtles. I like the turtles. I think they're very, very cute. Okay, let's do... I'm going to do um, this like abstract kind of image right here. It's got a bunch of little swirls and what almost look like leaf patterns, but I'm not sure if they're supposed to be leaves or not. I don't know, but it's really cool looking. I like it. That came out really, really nice. I really like that. Beautiful. All right, let's see here. I'm going to grab this. I'm not sure what this is, but it's also super cool looking. Gorgeous. 
gorgeous. These plates stamp really, really well. These are my first XL plates from Bumble Monster, and I'm very, very impressed. They stamp great, and the images are huge. Beautiful. As you can see, you guys know how, how long the nails on these popsticks are, and look, more than enough room to cover the whole nail, so... I really, really like them. You guys know that I usually keep my nails really long. I'll, I'll periodically file them down kind of short like they are now. This is very short to me. So, I mean, I like long nails, so I need my images to be long too. So I really like that they are so long. I'm going to grab this one right here. I'm not sure what it says, but I'm going to check it out. Beautiful. Oh, let's do it this way. Very nice. I'm not sure what it says. Um, wait, am I looking at it upside down? There we go. If you guys know what that says or what that means, comment down below and let me know because I'm very curious. All right, let's grab a few more from this plate. Let's do this cute little swirly image up here. It's like circles, but they're, they're not just regular circles. They swirl into the middle, which is awesome. And as you guys can see, I haven't had a problem with any of the images on this plate. They all pick up absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. That's super duper cute. I think that one's one of my faves. And as you can see, the stamper works really well. It is squishy firm, which I'm not used to. And I'm also using a firm scraper, which I'm not used to. And they work great. I'm very, very impressed. Let's grab this cute little birdie here beautiful all right let's see I think this way very cute there we go now I'm not doing them upside down. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't know why I started doing them upside down all of a sudden. All right, let's grab... I'm going to grab this image right here. It says Kia Aura. I'm sure I'm not saying that right, but I don't know what it says or what it, what it means, I mean. So that's another one. If you guys know it, please let me know because I'm very interested to know what it means. Beautiful. Stamped beautifully. And let's grab one more from this plate and then I will switch to the next one. Let's do, I think I'm going to do these um, cool feather looking things right here. Whoops. Gorgeous. Picks up great. This will be really cute in all kinds of funky different colors. Beautiful. Alright guys, let me go ahead and clean up my little mess I got going on here and grab out the other plate and I'll meet you right back. Okay, so I've moved on to Polynesia BM XL 119. And I've got some more popsticks here, so let's grab some swatches. I think I'm going to start with this image right here. It's beautiful. It's some type of abstract image, but it's just gorgeous to me. It really caught my eye. Look how beautiful that is. I can get a hold of a popstick here. Beautiful. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love that one. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going to grab this image that's right here next to it. Also gorgeous pickup. That's super cute. 
I really like these plates, and like I said, I got a killer deal on them. They were like, I think they were like a dollar ninety nine or something like that. So I was thrilled to death. Needless to say, I'm gonna grab this one right here. Beautiful image. Super cute. It's like a little tiki guy making like a little scrunched up face. <laughs> He's cute. Alright, and I'm going to grab this leaf pattern right next to it. Just kind of going down the line here. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is another one that would be great for fall. It almost looks like a little, I think those might be flowers in between the leaves, like right there. Like maybe the flowers are budding. I don't know. But whatever it is, I like it. I really like the images on these plates. And I'm going to grab the swordfish down here. I'm going to try to scrape straight down like I've been doing with the rest, but I might have to scrape sideways on this one. Nope. No problems at all. Oh, I lied. Little issue. Let's try that one again. I'm going to try to scrape sideways this time and see if that makes a difference. Mm, a little better, but not much. Let me try it one more time. And if I can't get it, I'll just go ahead and move on. Alright, let's see here. Maybe if I cover the image completely. Scrape it at an angle. There we go. That's much better. Beautiful. See, look, it looks like they're swimming in the ocean. All right, let's grab some from the top before I run out of pop sticks here. I'm going to grab this one right here. It's really cool looking. It reminds me of like um, if you were really close up like on a cartoony Christmas tree that was all decorated. I don't know why that's what I see, but that's what it looks like to me. Isn't it cute? You see what I mean though? So it's like those are like the garland hanging down and kind of like swooping back up and the little balls and the lights in between. And then this part right here would be like the parts of the tree poking out. I don't know why. That's what I say. I'm sure you guys are going to be like, what? You're crazy. It doesn't look anything like that. But that's what it reminded me of. I'm going to grab this one right here. This one's got a lot of open space in it. I'm going to keep dragging you out of frame. Sorry about that. Beautiful. Gorgeous. These plates have great pickup. I'm very, very impressed. Like I said, these are the first XL plates that I have from Bundle Monster. I do have their fall slash Halloween, the small square plates. I have that whole set and I have the Shangri-La set and they both pick up great too. And I've been checking out their blogger collab sets, and I definitely think I'm going to have to snag a couple of those plates. At least a couple. Beautiful. Because I've seen some really, really awesome ones. You guys should definitely check them out if you haven't already. Some awesome, awesome ladies have um, done some collabs with them to make these plates, including Swanette from Nail Stamp for Fun. I know you guys know who she is. And many, many others. And you guys should definitely go and check them out because these plates are gorgeous. All right. I'm going to grab this cool image right here with the sailboat and the ocean. And you got the wind blowing and the sun behind it. I love, love, love this image. It's very, very different and unique. I'm sorry. I know I keep bumping the camera. I'm sorry about that, guys. Look how great that picked up. Let me see if I can get the whole thing. 
at least most of it. Isn't that beautiful? Look how gorgeous that is. Beautiful. All right, let's grab one more from this plate. I think I'm going to grab this one over here. This is really cool looking, too. Beautiful. Gorgeous. That's very cool. Very cool. All right, guys, let me go ahead and clean up my mess and top coat these, and I'll meet you back with a close-up. Okay guys, these are all the swatches that I took today. This top row up here is Bundle Monster, the Polynesia XL115. And this bottom row here is XL119. And I think that these plates just stamped absolutely beautifully. The images all picked up so easily, very crisp, and I just think they're all gorgeous. I love the way they all turned out. Definitely go over to BundleMonster.com and check out all of the gorgeous plates that they have. I will link all of their stamping plates down below, the whole section down below, and I will try to link these plates in particular down below, but like I said before, they may be sold out for good. I'm not sure, but if they're not, I will link them down below as well. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget to leave your comment down below and tell me which one of these swatches is your favorite, and if you know what these two um, Hawaiian words mean, please let me know that as well. And I think that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and of course, come back to see me next time. Bye!